Welcome to SketchUp for Power, Episode 2, Keyboard Shortcuts. Use the link below for a free download of our keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. It organizes shortcuts by toolbar, shows Windows and OS shortcuts, and gives some bonus tool tips for how and when to use the shortcuts. You can also find these shortcuts at the top left of your screen, where you'll start to see letters for the main keyboard shortcuts. If you go to Window and select Preferences, Shortcuts, it will give you additional keyboard shortcuts as well as let you program your own keyboard shortcuts. Just enter your key and hit the plus sign. Let's look at these keyboard shortcuts in action and how they work with the toolbars we set up in the previous episode. The first toolbar we'll look at is the large tool set. We'll start by using spacebar. That highlights the select tool. So let's select this guy right here and delete him using the delete key. One reason I like the large tool set is it has the zoom extends shortcut, which zooms to the entirety of your model. Let's next do a basic shape. We'll use R to bring up the rectangle command. We'll start at the origin. And knowing that SketchUp uses inches as default, we'll do a 12 by 12 rectangle. The numbers will show up at the bottom right. Hit escape to exit the command or spacebar. Now we'll use P for the push pull command. That will make this a 3D shape. We can pull it it up and type in 12 again. To get a better look, we can hit H that brings up the hand command and allows you to move around the drawing. If you want to spin around the shape, you can use the O command for orbit, or simply press the mouse of the wheel and drag the shape around. We can hit Z for zoom to zoom out a bit. We can zoom, hit H to pan over, and let's try another keyboard shortcut for another basic shape. Use C for circle, and we can draw a 12 inch radius circle here. And we'll pull it up 12 inches. For the next keyboard shortcut, we'll hit L for the line command. We can start here with a line. We can use the arrow keys to lock us on an axis. Go up 12 inches. We'll use another key to lock us on the red axis and then draw back to the end point and create a triangle. P for pull, and if we want to pull it to the same height as the others, we can just reference the other's height. We can push down on the wheel to orbit, or use the wheel to zoom in or out. We have our three basic shapes, square, circle, and triangle. Now let's look at our three basic modifiers. And now let's look at our move command. We'll start with M for move, but we haven't selected anything. 
So to select, we hit the spacebar. Let's grab our box. Hit M for move. The left and right arrow keys will move him along the red or green axis, or we can hit the up arrow key to move him on the blue axis. Let's move him up 12 inches. Let's hit spacebar to go back to our selection and look at copy. To copy an object is a function of the move command. Let's select our object, hit M again, pick our base point, and this time we will hold the control key. The plus sign pops up to let you know you are copying the object. Let's copy the circle down. So now we have move, which is M, copy, which is M plus the control key. Now let's look at rotate. Let's hit spacebar. Let's select our triangle and use Q for the rotation command, this guy right here. You can use your arrows to pick the angle of rotation. Most commonly, it defaults to the blue axis. Now we can rotate this and type 90 degrees. So now we know move, copy, and rotate. All tools off the basic large tool set. And we also have Z for zoom, H for pan, R for rectangle, C for circle, L for line, and P for pull. Thanks for watching. If you like the episode, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified as we post more episodes in the future.